the long-awaited How I Shrunk My Waist workout video. This was my waist before. This is it right now. I lost around like two inches and I really only saw results when I was really consistent and then ate well, so keep that in mind. I usually do this workout around three or four times a week and I do it probably like three or four times also. To the workout. Welcome to my daily ab workout. Um, I hope you do not hate me after this, but what we're gonna do is start off with normal crunches. I like to keep my legs at a 90 degree angle. I feel like it works out my core more. And then while I'm using my arms to support my neck, you just wanna make sure you're not, you know, yanking your entire neck up and you're working out your arms more than your abs. So really focus on your abs. The next exercise is we're gonna move on to bicycles where you basically alternate each leg. Um, so I think the secret to this is you want to keep your legs as low as possible That's how you can really feel the workout and you also don't want to go too fast at super speed So I try to just do super long extends and then keep my legs as close to the floor as possible Also make sure that you're twisting your body because this workout is really good for working out your sides Next workout, we're gonna turn to our sides and we're gonna do the same type of crunches we were doing in the first round. Um, if you don't feel pain on your side, you're probably doing it wrong. I would say this is the hardest workout that I'm gonna show you today and I always dread doing these. But hey, no pain, no gain. Um, we're trying to get the snatched weight, so just bear through with it. Now, same thing, we're just gonna switch sides and we're actually halfway done with the workout, so we're almost there. Next, we're gonna do a 60 second plank. I don't really have any tips for this, but to just, you know, keep your back straight, um, your shoulders and floor should be at a 90 degree angle as well. I think what's also super important is if you look at my stomach, like my abs area, I'm actually flexing them and I'm constricting it. And um, I think this is super important to make sure that you keep your stomach super tight during the entire workout. For me, I don't know why, but planks always feel like forever. So, you know, while you're contemplating, why am I doing this to myself? Usually to pass time, I like to think about what am I going to do after this workout? And um, just think about like, oh, what am I going to do later today? Or I go on Instagram, but hang in there. Now the last workout we're going to do is the side to side planks. Um, you're basically just moving your hips from one side to the other. I like to do it kind of slow um, and you should really feel it in the sides of your abs. So you guys have officially finished the first set and I say first because you guys have to do this again. It's all about consistency. I suggest you do it at least one or two more times. I'm actually gonna play the entire video over again just without my voice talking. That way you guys can zone out and then just, you know, get that small waist. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys next video, bye.
Thank you.